I'm going to show you how to make this e-card for free using Video Leap. I'll begin by showing you how to put text on Video Open Video Leap and you'll be presented with an empty project. Tap the plus sign to add some media. I'm going to start with the video of the waving Canadian flag. I'll tap in the search field and start typing Canadian flag. Then I'll make sure Pixabay and videos are selected. If you download a premium asset, you can download it into a project, but you'll have to pay for it when you go to export your video. Any assets found on pixabay.com can be used for free. As you can see, I've got two options. I'll tap on the one on the left, and it will be downloaded into the project and placed in the timeline. This may take a few moments. Next, I'll tap the play icon to play the clip for a bit to make sure it's the one I want to use. Then I'll pause the clip and scrub back to the beginning because I'm going to add a text layer. Any layer that you add will appear at the location of the playhead when you add it. Since I want this text to appear on screen for the entire video, I'll place it at the beginning of the video clip. I'm going to double tap on the screen to edit my text. Then I'll start typing Happy Canada Day. Just type normally. To put text on a new line, just hit the return key and continue typing before you want to move the text to a new line. I'm going to place the year 2020 on a new line, so I'll hit return and then type 2020 like this. Then I'll tap on the check mark to dismiss the keyboard. With the text layer selected, notice that you've got many text properties that you can access to format your text, such as the font selection. To open the font selection, tap on it, and then swipe over to see all the fonts available to you. I'm not going to change the font because I'm happy with this one. To go back to the text properties, tap the back arrow one time. I'd like to animate the text. So I'm going to tap on animation. And as you can see, I've got three different options, in, overall, and out. Each does something different. In will control the behavior of the text as it appears on screen. All I have to do is tap on In and then choose an animation style. Once I've done that, I'll tap the back arrow one time to return to the other animation properties. Next is Overall, which controls how the text will behave while the video is playing. Because this is an e-card, I'm not going to animate the text while the video plays because I want people to be able to read it. I'm going to tap on Out next to control the behavior of how the text will be taken off of the screen. I'm going to choose the preset animation style of Vortex just like before. So I'll swipe over and tap on that. When I do, you can see that a slider will appear in the middle of the screen just above the animation styles. This allows you to control the speed of the animation. Moving the slider to the right will make the animation longer. Moving it to the left will make it shorter. You can do this for any of the animation properties. I can play the clip at any time to see how the animation styles look. I'll tap the back arrow one time to go back to the animation properties and then tap the play icon to begin playing the clip. If you use these preset animation styles, keyframes are not required. I'll discuss keyframes in a video later on in the series in more detail. You saw the text appear on screen. Notice as we reach the end of the clip, the text should fly off screen in the same manner since I chose the same animation style. To see the completed e-card, check out the YouTube card on screen now. If you've got questions or comments, put them below. Otherwise, you can check out the playlist on the right for more Video Leap tutorials. I'll continue and conclude the tutorial 
next time. See you then.